gustu, dragă trăguță Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea matale Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale Welcome to Life Stories in a New York Minute Rabbi Asa Haim from Burgas, Bulgaria Now from Fullerton, California This is David Liviano and it is Thursday, May 9th, 2013. Hello, Rabbi. Hi. Uh, first, we're going to ask the Rabbi a little bit about himself, where he was born. So you have the microphone, Rabbi. Thank you. <clears throat> I was born on May 1st, 1931, <clears throat> in the city of Burgas. <clears throat> I had a beautiful childhood and I couldn't have been a happier uh, uh, boy or uh, child growing up in a very nice Jewish community, in a very nice town or city um, on the Black Sea. <clears throat> Everything was beautiful until the beginning of the war and then the Second World War. And then... <coughs> That's September 1939. Right. And then Bulgaria became aligned or allies of the German pact, which was Germany, Italy, and Japan. And of course, this was the beginning of the difficult period in my life, in our family life, and in the life of the Jewish community. Fortunately, we survived. Unfortunately, 11,600 from Trace in Macedonia were sent directly to Treblinka on March 9th, 1943. We also were supposed to be shipped to Treblinka but because of our king, King Boris III, because of the church, the Bulgarian National Church, which was part of the Eastern Church, but totally free of anti-Semitism, unlike, let's say, the Russian Church or the Romanian Church or the uh, Yugoslavian Church, and uh, most of all, because 43 members of the parliament, headed by Peshev, Dimitri Peshev, signed a declaration or petition going to the king and asking that the Jews of Bulgaria not be uh, shipped to the east or to resettle really in Poland. Uh, we survived, but my father who was the president of the Jewish community and he had an angel uh, protector. Uh, a what Jeff, was your father's name? Uh, Avram, Avram Asa. And uh, my father was advised by his uh, protector, a general who was a captain of my father in the First World War. Do you remember his name? Um, I, I, at this moment, I don't remember his name, but I do have it in my memoirs. Uh, he told my father, I'm being transferred from Burgas to Schumann, and he was going to be the military uh, uh, governor of the Schumann district, and I want you close to me. So in June of 1943, after two unsuccessful attempts to send us to the east, uh, first in March 9th, 1943, and the second one was on May 25th, 1943. Um, in June, we departed, we locked our beautiful uh, apartment, house, in Burgas. In Burgas. We took only uh, suitcases of uh, essential clothing, and we, we moved to a town called Targoviste, very close to Schumann, like the first train stop 
uh, from Schumann uh, 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 the, as the line went, as the railway went. So uh, Targovishta was probably 25, 30 minutes from the big city, and it was a small town which only had one Jewish family before the war, and in June, uh, days after we arrived, 1,000 Jews were exiled from Sofia and from other places like Plovdiv to Targovishti because the king, in his defense, uh, before Hitler, uh, because Hitler wanted us put on the trains, and the king said, no, I need those people to work, and I'm going to build roads and railroads and bridges and all kind of other infrastructures, and I need those people as labor, slave labor. So, in fact, he rescued or he saved or preserved the lives of thousands of Jewish exactly. Bulgarians. Exactly. 50,000 Jewish uh, uh, Bulgarian Jews were saved because of the king. Refusal to sign the expulsion orders, which were already prepared and waiting for him in, uh, in Sofia. Uh, and the, the, the uh, contract uh, for our shipment was signed by Belev, who was the commissar of Jewish affairs in Sofia. A German... Uh, uh, no, Bulgarian anti-Semite trained in Berlin how to deal with Jewish problems. And Bekele, uh, who was the SS uh, guy in Bulgaria, uh, Bekele was to uh, uh, support Belev in our shipment. And the, the ironic part is that when we were supposed to have been shipped, uh, Bulgaria was charged the travel expenses of the Jews that were going to go to the east, so that uh, uh, the Reich, the Third Reich, was doing a favor to Bulgaria by getting rid of us and being paid for the air, uh, for the uh, rail fare, or for the uh, shipment of us to Poland. So who had to pay the, for the tickets for the Jews? The, the government of Bulgaria. Was, of Bulgaria was charged by the Nazis uh, to pay for our. Um, uh, extermination, basically. That's right, that's right. So, um, we survived, and uh, uh, my father uh, immediately became the president of the Jewish community of Targovishte, which really had no Jewish infrastructure, nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, remind us of your father's uh, name again, please. Uh, Avram. 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 And what year was this happening in approximately when your father became president? Uh, uh, June of 1943, we arrived to Targovishte with our suitcases. We rented a, what used to be a barn, now it was sort of like a, a dwelling, uh, until we could get a better apartment uh, or rent a better apartment. So the barn became the hotel for the Jews? Um, the the barn became uh, your uh, headquarters. Head, yeah, sort of. And uh, money was no issue with my father, but many of those uh, Jews from Sofia and elsewhere came with nothing, li literally destitute. Uh, they might have left a nice house or a nice business, but now they were refugees. Well, in the next uh, segment, we're going to listen to more of life stories with Hein Asa, how his family survived the terrible and difficult years of the war. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. Oh, that was perfect. The that was perfect. Shai mai vrea, shai mai vrea, Dăguță ană, Ca să te-nbrac măi cu o năframă. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr, Cercei măi ană, Dar eu n-am de unde măi cu o dară. Auzi, dragă, fata, nechi dragă, Aseară cu o niuă ta miceană. Și acum nu-ți parale, Să-ți cumpăr sandale, 
buzunarele sunt goale tari Mai apoi trecuță, încă o băncuță Și pe ui în colicuță tari